Welcome to a demo of the Range Rover Sport car computer powered by a EPC 701 netbook running iGuidance and Roadrunner. As you can see here, the OEM nav screen still works. Everything here works. Uh, when we toggle a switch underneath the dash, it controls the GNET controller. And we have several inputs. We'll go to the next one. Here it is, the car computer. This is Roadrunner running um, a skin called Elite. As you can see here, we have a bunch of options, music, video, navigation, web. I uh, control everything through a Logitech Nuvi Mini keyboard with a trackpad right here. Let's engage web real quick. Fires up Firefox. A Bloomberg, Drudge Report. So you can see it works pretty good. Go to the back button. <clears throat> we have the OE, um, iGuidance navigation. It's embedded in Roadrunner. Um, you have different options. You got 2D, 3D, you got zoom in full, you got you can enter in your destination um, by, by see points of interest. It works a little bit different from the OEM nav, but it gives you an idea how it works. Next, we have video. And this system plays pretty much any codec that Windows supports. Flash, FOVs, AVIs, DivX, uh, MP4s. All right, here's Heroes. I'll get Heroes running. Start the line. Yet few of us realize the debt we owe to those responsible uh, for this. Hello, playlist right here. Select a different video. Mm, works very good, huh? Let's go to the MP4 player. I mean, MP3 player. If you have album art, it picks it up. And I can do all my controls so here. You got your um, volume, play, what have you. Hit play real quick. Maybe I don't have my USB in there. Here it is. I can go here and hit next. Next. Let's see, I got my mark. And this concludes the demo. Go back here and just again. I'll go back and forth between the nav screen. And the next video we're going to have is a Chinese MP4 player, which I'll show next.